Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi and I am so happy that you're here today. And in today's video, I'm going to be setting up my finances planner for 2024. Thank you so much for staying to watch the video. I am happy that you decided to stay and I hope you can stay till the end. So recently I did a video uh, setting up my budget binder for 2024. And this is my budget binder. In this one, this uh, cover is from Live Love Push. This one I created myself. This one I also created myself. And this one I also created myself inspired from the organized money. So this is my process that I do on a daily, weekly, monthly, um, quarterly, and yearly. So I wanna make sure that I keep doing this, especially the monthly one, because I fall back on this one a lot because it takes me a little bit. I do all of my finances on Excel sheet that I created myself. And this too, I have a hard time keeping up with it. So I'm hoping to improve that this year because I do have my husband's business account which that one he has like four different accounts in there. I have his personal bank account. I have my personal bank account and I help my sons with their accounts. Um, because I close my business, I have it open, but because I close my business, there's really no money coming in or out. So that one is just um, pending. I will be closing that one soon this year. But so far I have everybody's account that I have to look after. So I wanna make sure that I keep those um, those goals that I have here, I keep doing them on each way that it needs to be done. Daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. Like that, we have a great view at the end of the year to see where our money went and how we spent our money. So this is this month, and I wanna make sure that I keep this on the front. So this is to start January. Right now is still December. Today is December 18th. So this is to start January. The the um, December binder is a separate binder. The only thing that I do want to change from the December binder to this one is the discs because I don't like this color disc, even though it looks okay, but I don't like it. I like the clear ones that the other one has. So that's the only thing that I'm gonna change. But like I was talking about, this is my um, budget binder. And I use this one when I'm gonna be doing cash stuffing and cash transfer and all that stuff. But the one that I wanna get ready today with you is going to be this one. This is the one that I use for bills, for whenever we pay our bills and um, plans with debt pay, uh, debt pay off and things like that. So I'm gonna be using this one because I was using this one for something else, but I no longer need it for that. And this one is 18 months, I believe. Yeah, this is. August of 2023. So this one ends in December of 2024. So because I have the whole year here and this planner, I don't decorate it because it's just concentrated on the bills. I'm gonna be using this one for 2024. This one starts right here. So I need just this part right here. This one is for July to June. I mean, sorry, July to uh, December of 2023. So I don't need this part. I was using another planner for that. But basically, I'm gonna show you what I do with the bills. Once the bills are paid, that they charged um, the account, I write them in here the day that it was charged. So I write the, the bill here and I write the amount that was paid. And the reason why I'm using a dashboard is because any plans that I had for a specific bill, um, I'm gonna write those plans in here. This is what I used to do. At the end of the week, I find out how much money was the positive and I put that in here. All the deposits, how much money was spent on gas, how much money was spent on food, how much money was spent on other expenses. So I specify all of that on this side of the page. Like that I have a weekly view of all the money right here because since I just do bills here, I don't do any other specific expenses. Then I wanna write the expenses for the week on this side. At the end of the month, 
um, I come in here and then I write in here the total amount for the month. How much money was deposited for the whole month? How much money was spent for the whole month? How much money went to bills? How much money went to gas? How much money went to food? So that's what I do on this side. So I really don't decorate the planner. Um, that's why I think this one is perfect because this one, it's already decorated. And since I don't need to make any extra decorations, I think this one will be great for that. And that's why I want to use this one right here. So, but I don't want to use this cover or this disc. So, instead, I have this cover that I love. This one is a 2023, I want to say, um, early 2023 planner. So I'm going to be using this one, and I'm glad it doesn't have a year. I didn't notice that. So I'm going to be using this one. This is going to be the intro to my budget uh, planner. So this is a monthly planner that I'm going to be using together with my actual planner. And this one right here is the one where I'm going to be making my plans for the month. My goals for the month on the bills or paying off debt or whatever the case is. I'm going to keep tracking here. Hopefully, I keep doing this. The day that I pay the bills, um, I mark the days because I usually pay the bills. Um, I try to pay them the week before, the week prior. So I try to pay them like on Tuesdays and Fridays is when I pay bills. So anything that... I forgot on Friday or I can extend it till Tuesday then then I'll, I'll do that but I always make sure that the money's already there like two weeks in advance because I just want to make sure that we have the money for it so I hold the money on the Excel sheet that's where I write the the, the bill name and I hold the money there and then once I'm ready to pay then I transfer that hold into a pending status and then once I pay it then I transfer that into the actual uh, checkbook, which is also on my Excel sheet. So um, I'm going to be using this. This will be my main priorities that I want to pay off since we're on a debt payoff um, time right now for 2024. We want to pay off credit cards. So far, we have paid off four credit cards within the past three months. So now we're on the fifth one. And I'm hoping because there's still two weeks of the month, I am hoping that I can pay that one off because I already made a payment of 500. I was owing on that one 1820, $1,820. I think it's 17. So I paid 500. This week I'm going to pay another 400 and probably by the end of the week I will be paying I believe it's another 400. So I'm going to need like $200 and change to pay it off. Um 1818 18 minus 500 that I paid just now 400 that I'm going to be paying sometime this week and I think it's 700 the next payment that I have yep so my balance will be 218 so right now I have all the money to pay everything that I just added here and the only thing that I'm missing is the 218 so I am not giving the whole amount at one point for some reason, I just want to do every few days, send an amount. I don't know why I want to do that, but that's what I want to do. So let's see if that works positive on our credit with that credit card. I don't know. But um, but yeah, so I'm hoping that by the end of the year, um, we're able to collect $218. And if we're able to collect that money, then the credit card will be paid off before December 31st. That's our goal. And then that will be five credit cards paid off before the end of the year which is fantastic um so yeah so i'm going to be doing the transfers now so i want to use this metal disc for that transfer and i know there's going to be some leftovers in here so what i'm going to be doing is this i take out oh i just messed up my paper take the covers out first So this way, the the planner stays uh, sturdy and I can actually add what I need to add. So I'm going to be adding from both of them. From this one, I'm just going to keep the cover. And then the first thing that I want to add is actually the monthly for January. 
and then I'm going to add the uh, monthly here for my dashboard let me remove this out of the way so it's easier to grab it and then this goes here so I'm gonna explain to you now the reason why I'm doing it that way and then I'll go ahead and make the transfer on all of them so once I open my planner once I open my planner besides having my um, hello page here I will have my monthly plan so I can write my monthly bills here which I usually do that either write it here because this is the plan and I have extra sheets in here that I can use so what I've been doing with these sheets because I have bills that are for my husband's company's company. I have bills that are for my husband's account and I have bills that are for my account. And I'm the one that makes sure that all of those bills get, they get paid. So here I can write the uh, bills from the 1st to the 31st to make sure that they're paid. And then I'll just take a uh, marker and I just circle the, um, highlight the circle once the bill is charged from the account. So I think that's what I'm gonna keep doing on this one. I am doing that in my husband's planner that I have for his business because I keep that, even though I wanna keep all of that together here because it's my brain so everything is dumped in one planner. But for his business, I also keep it separate because whenever he has any questions about anything that has to do with his finances, then I can just go straight to that planner and not worry about our personal stuff. I don't wanna have them all mixed. Like that when I do the weekly um, view, like I mentioned to you before, I actually have a weekly view just for the business and then I have a weekly view overall. Um, so that's how I plan to use this ones right here. Usually I don't use these pages, but I just keep them here. Um, and then I'm moving to the actual planner itself for the month. And like I mentioned, here I write the bills that were um, charged to the account. And then here I do a view of the monthly expenses that were done for that week and I do it in detail by category. Usually what I used to do in the past, because I didn't want to keep writing everything over and over, I actually have it on an Excel sheet. And all I have to do is just print out the sheet, cut the little square, and then just stick that in here and then just write on the Excel sheet because the Excel sheet already has my categories and all I have to write is just the amount once I add like let's say I paid five bills in that week so I add the amount of money that we paid on that week for those bills and then on the category for bills then that's where I write the amount so I think I'm gonna continue doing that for this year I was doing it last year and then I just stopped doing it for whatever reason and that's what I mean when I want to keep track of everything and, and and catch myself to keep doing everything that I was doing before because it was working great. I was able to just open one page and see what happened the entire month without searching for anything. So I wanna be able to do that again. So that's my goal for 2024. So let me go ahead and transfer everything here as much as I can because it's a whole year and it's two planners and I think it's gonna be too tight. So I think I might have to do like six months at a time, but we'll see. For now, I'm going to go ahead and continue doing um, planning, not planning, sorry, transferring the, uh, the monthly and then the actual planner itself for that month. Okay, so far I have from January to June. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that so like that is not too thick. I mean, I still have space, but I think I'm gonna leave it like that and just do the six months at a time and then I'll save this for the summertime and then I'll change it again in the summer. So again, this is the cover that I'm going to be using for my finances planner. And again, this is the month of January right under this is the monthly and then this is the actual planner for January. 
So the cool thing that I have here that I like is that the monthly stays together. So like that one, I grab it. Let's say I want to see March. I have both of them right here. So I can look at the monthly and then look at my um, actual planner here. So I do want to mark right here. This is my first week. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this already because it's looking ugly and remove the word notes because this is not notes anymore. And for now, I'm gonna keep using this one right here, this divider or this bookmark because it's clear so I can see everything if I need to and you know. So I think that's all I want to do here. And I like how comfortable it is to move. The only thing that I'm not sure if I want to do, I would like to, but I don't really have the need because it's very bulky. But I like this binder from the Happy Planner. Love the color. And this is where I used to keep this planner before when I used to use it as a planner. Um, and I used to keep it right here. And I love the fact that I can just save stuff in here, like receipts and stuff. Um, I gotta clean it up. But I can save uh, receipts and stuff in here, any papers, because this is just money stuff. Bills, I can just save here if anything's pending. Like right now we have some hospital bills and um, ambulance bills from my husband that I, I we're working on paying those off. So I think I wanna use this for the finances and just keep it here because it's so pretty. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I do want to make sure that I use the same pen all the time, which actually... For now because I think I might keep it here I'm not sure I'm just gonna keep a pen here so everything is the um, the same color um, I think I'll use this one for now this is such a small pen but I think I'll use that one for now I think it's too bright but I'll keep it like that for now so this is gonna be my finances uh, budget planner or finances i don't know whatever name i put it in the uh, in the subject for the video that's gonna be the name of this planner so i hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video i hope you are able to get ideas from this planner from this video from this setup let me know if you're able to get ideas to set up your stuff also let me know if you have any questions um, on anything that you want to do and your thinking of different things or you're not sure what to do and I can give you ideas. I love doing this finances trackers. I love doing Excel sheets. So if you need any assistance, just so I can give you ideas, not tell you what to do because you can, you're the only one that can make decisions on that. But I can give you ideas on what to do to keep track of your bills and to be able to pay off your debt. Um, hopefully I'm able to give you a total amount of the debt that we paid off once I pay this one off, that's my goal. Once I pay this one off, I'll give you guys um, an update on how much money we paid off on those five credit cards before the end of the year. This is going to be all for this video. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That really helped me out a lot, especially when I have people just coming into the video, pressing thumbs down and leaving. So you giving me a thumbs up, that would really help me out a lot. And thank you so much for staying till the end. And I will see you guys on my next video. Hasta pronto. Adios.